you say what's a good method what's a good way to make sure that when you have that aha moment and you realize yes the sacrifices are for me and that needs to change or yes i'm sick because i'm not flexible i need to be more flexible or i'm too stiff i don't share my emotions i need to do that a little bit more you have the aha moment how do you make sure it's not just an aha moment and then you go back to your patterns. What would you say it's a good way to make sure, yes, you're going to regress, but that you keep going towards that new self that you want to be? Yeah, I, I think once, you know, assuming that you've embraced that and you've known that about yourself and recognize, boy, there, there's some things I have to do different. Mm -hmm. Doing it in community, sharing it with one person. And I stand by, if you're married, it should be your spouse. And so sharing and saying, hey, I know I'm inflexible. I know I'm controlling. I know I'm whatever that is, fill in the blank. I know that I've taken more than I've given. Um, some, of, some of it may necessitate an apology. Mm -hmm. I apologize and I had to do that with my wife and my children. I've put me first instead of you all first. So I didn't, in that way, I did not provide as I should have. And then define and say, what is one small step I can take to continue the progress? The, the small step may just be admitting it and then talking to those in closest of community. The next piece may be like, I'm going to define some boundaries that keep work at work and allow me to bring the best of myself to my relationships, my emotional, my physical, my spiritual health, uh, and my mental health, whatever those are, but always just don't necessarily say, well, I've got to get here and look at this mountaintop experience. Because if you've ever climbed a mountain, you don't go from the trailhead to the peak in short order. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of back and forth. You don't even go straight up. There's switchbacks and sometimes you go down in order to go up. And it's the same way in our lives. And what I had, I had a really good therapist who said to me, you didn't get in this spot overnight. This took you mm -hmm. years to get to this level of dysfunction. What makes you think that in 90 days, you're going to undo those old habits? And he was absolutely right and it took me a long time and it's always a journey i've not arrived at anything i want to be clear i've learned a heck of a lot but there's always things that i'm uncovering to say ah that's another area i can continue to move forward and take a small step and once you start to do those small steps what you find is all of those small steps lead to monumental change over time mm -hmm.